Hi, in this tutorial we're going to run through how to initially set up the 3DMC control box screen and load in your initial site data for running the system. So here we have the blank 3DMC control box screen. Um, as you can see at the moment we have no data on there and we're just set as a, a dozer. So first thing to do is we're going to need our line work file in the format of an LN3. Uh, we're going to need our surface file in the format of a TN3. And in this instance, our site is going to be running on national grid. So if we insert the USB stick firstly into the control box screen, uh, that uh, when we go in to select the line work and the surface files will show up as our D drive. So first thing that we need to do is tap up on here on the top gun icon, which brings up our menu system. And then we will need to go to file. And first of all, we'll import our line work, which will fall under the layers side of things. So bottom of the screen here, and as you can see, we've got our import tab. Um, the first thing is is what, which will be our LN3 line work file, and our where, which is our D drive or our hard stick USB stick. Uh, this is the file that I actually want to import today. So if I just highlight, press on that, tap OK, it will ask me if I want to add the line work to the current project, which I do. Now it will bring up what layers are held within that line work file so on a road job for example if the uh, the line work has been named correctly then you could have layer names in here such as edge of carriageway back of verge center line etc in this instance we've just got fairly random uh, layer names so all we need to do now is tap ok nothing will happen initially because the line work just been brought into the screen and we have no GPS localization. So the dozer doesn't actually know where it is at the moment. So if we now bring in our surface file, again, we go to file, but this time surfaces, import again, same, what is our 3D TN3 file? Uh, where is our D drive? So same again, highlight that, tap OK. Yes, we add that to our current project. Tap OK. Our surface is now in the project. But again, we can't see where we are with the dozer because we have no localization file. As I mentioned earlier, this design file, uh, we're actually sitting within national grid coordinates. So to set that up, again, we go up to the Top Gun tab file but now we need to tell it control because we're sitting on national grid system and not a local grid system this first tab here that says control points will be blank because we don't have any local site control points what we're actually going to do here is set it to our national grid system which is actually a known projection and datum. So we need to just come across the tab up here and go to projection, which we are in Europe on this one. And if we just scroll down on this page, we'll get to UKO. If we tap this little uh, plus button here, it will open up a few additional options. Now, the national grid system, WGS84, as everyone calls it, we need to select OSTNO2. Now, if we go back to the coordinate system tab, you'll see that we've now got a datum in here. And in most instances, we will need to select a geoid model, which will be on 95% of the control boxes. I don't actually have it on here to select at the moment. So I'll leave that blank, but you will be needing to tick this, tap this drop down box and you will see OSTNO2.GFF. You would need to select that. So now if I hit OK, 
it's telling me I'm out of my design area because I'm not sitting at the moment above uh, my design so because I'm running the uh, simulation I'm just going to restart the model next thing I need to do is tell the system which of the surfaces I've imported I want to use so I need to go to file active surface and tell it that I want to use this surface for today um, and again I'm just going to restart and hopefully I'll be sitting above my design now so once you've imported your line work and surface this is essentially what will be seen on your screen now the bottom left hand corner of the screen is telling us we're zero offset to design and this bottom part here is telling us how far up or down I need to lift my blade to get to the design the right hand side of the screen this 1.2% is the design fall or the design grade of where my machine currently sits. So I've got my zoom in and zoom out button on the main screen here. So if I zoom in, I can see where the does are sitting at the moment. Now these green triangles or green lines you can see are the DTM or the surface lines that are sitting on the, on the design itself. 90% of the time you're going to want to turn those off so again we got to the top con icon but this time we tap on the view tab come down to display options working surface and we can turn off those green lines or the triangle mesh now we actually have something that the driver can see on the screen so it's not muddled with all of the green triangles but you've still got that surface working in the background even though you can't see the triangles the surface is always sitting there in the background for the one that you've selected to be active the things we can do in here on the initial setup is still under this view tab but we have these different window options so on this left window I can bring up a grade indicator which will match what this is down here so it's telling me how far up or down I need to lift the machine to get to grade um, if I go down to a uh, lower window I can put a cross section through the blade so I can see what this design model is doing as I look through the blade so that concludes the, the initial setup and data import tutorial on the 3DMC control box.